Hello, this is Andy Ford from Andy Ford Video, and today we're going to look at the value at time expression. Value at time is used in After Effects to obtain a value from a property at a specified time. So here we have two emojis from Envato Elements. You can see here that one scales up and down. Now say we want the other emoji to do the same thing, but with a delay. And of course we could keyframe this, but what if we have multiple layers we want to do this to, or we ever want to change the scaling speed of the first emoji, that would be a hassle. We can use expressions to make this easy on ourselves. So the first thing we want to do is add an expression to emoji layers two, scale property. So we will alt click or option click with the Mac, the stopwatch for scale for emoji two. And now we can write an expression. The first thing we have to do in this expression is tell After Effects what we want to reference. And that is the scale property of emoji number one. So we have to tell After Effects where to look. So our expression starts with this comp, telling After Effects to look inside this composition, dot layer, we are going to look at a layer, and then in parentheses, what layer? Now we could write one, because emoji one is currently in layer one, but you should get in the habit of writing index, in this case, index minus one. Now index refers to the number of the layer we are on. So index would be two in this case, and two minus one is one. And the reason you would do this is if you're adding to this composition and eventually you have 50, 100 layers in here, emoji number one may no longer be layer one. But index minus one will work no matter what layer number this is, as long as it is one layer above emoji two. So this just speaks to a layer's relative position in the composition. Now we want to tell After Effects to look at the scale value. So that is dot transform dot scale. And then what? Here's where we use the value at time expression. Value, lowercase, at with a capital A, time with a capital T, all together. This is telling After Effects to look at the layer above, scales property, at this current time. But remember, we want a delay. So in parentheses, we can type time, which will be the current time, but then minus 0.2, or whatever delay we want. So if you want a 0.2 second delay, we would type minus 0.2. So again, we're looking at the scale property of emoji layer one at the current time, but then 0.2 seconds ago. And so what you should see once we do this is that emoji with the glasses here will perform the same scaling as this emoji. However, it will be 0.2 seconds behind. And so here's a great example of how you can use value add time to reference another layer, add a delay, and of course, this would be expandable over multiple layers in your composition, making any potential changes very easy. Thank you.